I'm going to show you how to solve this algebraic expression and this is how we do it x squared into the root of y this is the same as x squared y raised to a half this is the same as x raised to a half and this one is the same as y raised to 2 divided by 3 because you are using this principle like for example you are given x root a raised to n this is the same as n raised to x that is a raised to n divided by x now reaching at this point we divide by the denominator which is when we multiply powers in exponents for example if you are given a raised to n m we an expression that is given in this way this means we multiply the powers which will be a raised to n m now like for this one you can see we are raising the whole expression to the power of a half this means that it will be x raised to 5 multiplied by a half that will be 5 divided by 2 y raised to 3 multiplied by a half that will be 3 divided by 2 we continue from here these when for example in exponents when we are dividing it means we subtract the powers but when you are multiplying it means we add the powers but in this case when we look at the like terms for example x raised to 2 and x raised to 5 divided by 2 we are dividing it means we will subtract the powers that will be x raised to 2 plus these are half here we are collecting the like terms subtract 5 divided by 2 and y raised to a half plus 2 divided by 3 subtract 3 divided by 2 this becomes 2 plus a half is the same as 5 divided by 2 this that means they will cancel out that will be x raised to 0 y a half plus 2 divided by 3 minus 3 divided by 2 that will give us negative a third at this point and any number raised to 0 is 1 that will be 1 multiplied by y raised to negative a third and this gives us y raised to negative a third and that becomes our final solution Thanks for watching and let's meet in my next video.